Renwick Ruin was originally built in 1856 on the southern end of Roosevelt Island as part of a series of prisons and hospitals constructed on the island during that time. Designed by architect James Renwick Jr. as our nation's first hospital dedicated to the treatment of smallpox, the remnant structure is breathtaking in its abandonment and stands as our city's only landmark ruin. But as the structure continues to slowly deteriorate, efforts to stabilize the ruin and increase public access highlight the importance of preserving this rare piece of New York City history. It's so quiet here. It's so peaceful and tranquil. People get off the cable car or come out of the subway. Many people think we're a thousand miles away from civilization. And they realize that they're still three minutes away from Manhattan and they're in a completely different world. It always felt so peaceful and, and pretty and serene to me. And I tried to understand how it might have felt the exact opposite to people who were there. The only time I got that sense was looking over to Manhattan and imagining that I could never go there. Boats would come from Manhattan here with all of the people they wanted to get rid of. And smallpox was one of those groups of people they wanted to segregate and quarantine here on the island. The ruin showcases this aspect of New York where the city is busy building new shiny structures at every turn. But you have this very beautiful structure that's actively decaying and the city almost doesn't know how to respond to that. Roosevelt Island is a two-mile island. It is in the middle of the East River. It technically is part of Manhattan. The Renwick Ruin is one of six landmarks on the island, which is amazing in and of itself, that an island that's only two miles long has six landmarks, because I think it's really important for us as a civilization to preserve the beautiful pieces of art and architecture from our history. We have the Blackwell Farmhouse. We have our chapel. We also have a lighthouse at the north end of the island. We have our octagon, which was originally the entrance to the lunatic asylum. And on the south end of the island, we have the smallpox hospital. Smallpox hospital is a history of medicine. It's a history of nursing. It's a history of construction. It's a history of a famed architect. And just to say, oh, well, it's an old room, let's tear it down doesn't work. The idea that thousands upon thousands of people were sent to this island treated terribly. Many, if not most, died there and almost no one knows that this happened. And for me, writing about them, it's like restores them and it, it doesn't make things right, but at least their story is told and people know this happened to you, this was wrong. I think as this city builds and builds anew, we begin to forget a little bit of our history. We think of landmark buildings as somehow eternal, but they could crumble away just like this building could. It was a story of health and hopeful wellness in, in this city, and it's fascinated the imaginations of New Yorkers for 70 years. And as the work to stabilize the ruin and share its story continues, challenges associated with honoring the past and preserving the history of our city remain ongoing. And as the fate of the ruin is still being determined, we should all stop to consider the importance of preservation efforts and the impact that erasing histories can have on both our city and our lives.